in next 30 seconds i'm going to show you how i planned an entire weekend trip in four minutes instead of three hours and no it's not being better at googling this is comet and honestly it has changed how i use the internet forever but first let me just guess you have got like 20 tabs open right now and you spent an hour comparing prices on something last week and every simple task online somehow turns into a research project we have ai that can write novels and create art but we are still manually clicking through the internet like it's 2005 like copy paste new tab compare forget why you opened this tab and then start over so a few weeks ago i was venting to my developer friend about how exhausting the internet has become like why does booking a dinner reservation require 45 minutes and a spreadsheet what he said next left me like wait what he's like why are you still browsing manually just use comet and let it do the work i thought he meant something complicated like coding thing but no comet is basically your browser but with an assistant that can actually use the browser for you not just search but click navigate fill out forms compare things across sites and bring you back the results it's literally like having someone else do your internet homework while you drink coffee let me just quickly show you what i mean by that okay real scenario from last weekend six friends everyone's got a dietary restriction trying to find a dinner spot and you know this nightmare an hour of back and forth text with google links that nobody actually clicks on so i opened comet and typed find a restaurant in central london that works for vegans and meat eaters has availability for six people such a day at 8 pm and parking nearby that was my simple prompt. look no hands see that blue halo that's comet working i'm not touching anything now okay this is the part that still breaks my brain it's opening multiple restaurant sites simultaneously actually reading through the menus for options checking reservations availability in real time looking up parking information and scanning menu and reviews it's not just searching look it's literally clicking through each restaurant's actual reservation systems to check if they have space like what just four minutes and three perfect options with actual pros and cons one has the best food one has its own parking lot one has the most vegan options all available just one click to book and we actually made it to dinner on time revolutionary i know here is another example that literally everyone can relate to i need a new laptop specific requirements specific budget this is usually a two weeks research project with 47 amazon tabs right so i opened comet again and entered this prompt find a laptop under 1500 dollars budget with at least 16 gb ram good for video editing compare prices across all major retailers check for the current deals or student discounts and find user reviews from actual video editors and that's it and you can see it's checking amazon best buy apple b and h photo even manufacturer sites i wouldn't have thought to check and the most amazing part it found a student discount that i did not even know that it existed and it's checking if the same model is cheaper refurbished with warranty so look at this the same laptop ranges from 1299 dollars to 1599 dollars depending on where you buy and it found a coupon code that saves 200 dollars so in total i saved $300 and kept my sanity that's the real win okay this is my favorite daily hack every morning same routine used to take 45 minutes of scrolling and clicking i tell comet check my important emails and summarize them find today's weather and suggest what to wear it's basically doing my morning doom scroll for me but like actually accomplishing things so my entire morning in one summary two important emails flagged rain after 3 pm so bring an umbrella because i'm based in london so there's always rain so that's why it's really important to carry an umbrella with you so i actually eat breakfast instead of just like scrolling through same information for 45 minutes so comet basically saves me a good one hour in morning okay the last scenario this one is for creators but honestly anyone who does research basically they can relate to this so i ask what are the top five trending topics in my niche this week what are the people actually saying about them in comments find examples of high performing content on these topics and identify gaps that nobody is covering yet so it's not just looking at the trending pages it's actually analyzing comment section engagement rates a complete content strategy based on actual data it even noticed that one trending topic has tons of views but people complaining in comments that nobody explaining it simply so i just found the best content opportunity for the next video okay now real talk is comment perfect 
No, sometimes it's faster to just grab something yourself if you know exactly where it is. But here's what exactly changed for me. I stopped treating every online task like it's my doctoral thesis. Think about how many hours you spend on internet busy work, comparing prices across sites, reading through reviews, checking multiple calendars, managing bookings and reservations. No, I just tell comment what I need and just go do literally anything else. It's not about being lazy. It's about not wasting time on things that are computer can do better than you. So here's my honest take after using Comet for almost a month. The internet became fun again because I'm actually doing things that I want to do online, not spending hours on digital chores. Conservative estimate, I have gotten back 10 to 15 hours a week hours I was spending, clicking, comparing, researching, getting distracted and then starting over. Look, I'm not saying you need this, but if you have ever felt like the internet is more work than it should be, try Comet. Link is below. Give it your most annoying online task and see what happens. The question isn't whether AI can browse for you. It's why we are still doing it manually when we don't have to. So what's the online task that you hate doing most? Drop it in comments and I'm genuinely curious what drives other people crazy. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.